Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and in this video tutorial we are going to finally work on the final order. So for that first of all let's close this and I'm going to create a new activity. Activity, empty activity. We can give this activity name that is confirm final order. Confirm final order activity. Click on finish. So the activity is created successfully. Now let's go to the XML file. Click text. And first of all, we need to change this constant layout to the relative layout. And next, we need to first of all, we need a text view here. Match parent wrap content. Let's give ID to it. We can just say txt and here we need to add text to it and we can tell the user to please confirm your shipment details and the text size must be a thin dp and text color we can also change it so it will be color primary dark margin from all side 15 dp and the uh, text alignment it must be at the center let me zoom this so that we can see it more clearly textile must be bold after that we need uh, an added text so we can simply say added text match parent wrap content and here we say please write your shipment details because the user will write the shipment details and this must be below this txt margin from the top 60 dp also let's give some for this let's change the margin from all side to 25 dp and uh, this will be from the top 60 and margin left 20 dp margin right also 20 dp let's give some hint here so that the user can know so here we can simply say that is your name then we can ask the user for the phone number so that the admin can contact the user I mean for the uh, confirmation and for that I'm going to copy paste this I mean for the time, time saving and we will simply change this to your phone number and let's give ID to or this first edit text which we can simply say shipment underscore name shipment name and then here we can say ID and we can change this to shipment phone number and yeah and let's move this below we have already wrote this thing above which is this one okay remove this id and copy paste this shipment name id here and from the top it must be 5 dp and now let's copy paste this and first of all change the id of it to shipment address which will be home address that is on which address the admin will send this product to the user I mean the user who will purchase any product from the app or I mean from this company etc so we can simply write here your home address and it must be below this shipment phone number and one thing which is left is the city so we can simply 
copy paste this here and change this shipment address to shipment city on which city the user is living and let's copy paste shipment and change this to your city name for the phone number which is this okay input type let's say the input type will be only numbers now we need a button at the end so you can simply say button match parent rep content and it must be align parent bottom to true and margin from all sides must be 20 dp will be good okay and the back first of all let's give text to it so it will be confirm so when a user click on this confirm button then the final order will be placed successfully then the admin work will start that is the admin will see this all these products which a user will purchase and the admin, admin will basically ship these products to the on the home address of the user so as i told you once we complete this then we will move to the admin parts and the background color for this will be color primary dark and text color must be android white text size 20 dp and yeah that's it now we need to give id to this and we can give id to it as confirm underscore final underscore order underscore btn and yeah that's it now let's go to the confirm order activity and here we can simply say private we have for edit text first one is for the name so we can simply say name edit text comma the second one is for the phone so we can simply say phone edit text address edit text then city edit text then we have one button and that you can simply give it a name as confirm order btn which means confirm order button and in our on create we can say confirm order button equals to button or dot id dot confirm order button then we have name edit text equals to edit text we have shipment name I mean let me check first what's the id of that this is shipment name and we can simply paste that id here with shipment name let's copy paste this for the remaining three edit text so the second one is phone then we have address and we have city and it is by the name shipment for number then we have shipment address and city shipment city and yeah that's it now uh, next thing is that is to calculate the total i mean here you can see that is in the cart list we have currently two products which is cool summer t-shirts and iphone x and iphone x is uh, three quantity and for each one quantity the uh, price is four hundred dollars okay so it means that 400 multiply 3 1200 dollars for three iphones okay so this is the price of this specific product or you can say this specific item which is quantity three and for this one which is cool summer t-shirts the quantity six that is six uh, t-shirts uh, i mean for each one product the price is five so five into six thirty so means thirty dollars so we have to calculate the whole amount i mean the overall total amount that is uh, let's say twelve hundred and thirty okay and we 
can display that price to the user here at the top which is total price equals to so we have to tell the user that is what is the total price so yeah I mean let's go now to the let's close this and now we go to the cart activity and on our cart activity first of all uh, we need to create a string type variable which must uh, in which we will store the overall uh, total price for all products and I mean for each specific I mean as you know that there are many quantity okay so I mean I'm talking about the whole overall price so we can say string and uh, the variable name let's say overall total price and let's change the type of it to integer and we must initialize it with zero now come down here and here we have this inside our own bind view holder method here we are retrieving all the products as you know that the recycler adapter fiber recycler adapter uh, get the products uh, line by line so what we are going to do is we can get the product and quantity of each product and we will multiply first the quantity number with that specific product and we will get that individual product total price and then we will calculate that individual total price in the overall total price I hope you understand this I mean this thing once we do it you will understand it more clearly okay so we can create integer type variable and I'm going to give proper name to these variables so that uh, you guys can understand it more clearly so I can simply say one type product T price which means one product total price that is let's say we have iPhone X so this is only one type of products so what will be the total price for it so now we are going to get the quantity of this product which is let's say 3 in this case okay so 3 multiply 400 means 1200 so here we can say put two braces then again two braces and in here we can simply say integer dot value of model dot get price so we are getting the price as you know that uh, the price is in the string format so we are converting it to integer by writing this integer dot value of so we get the price in this way in integer type now we need to get the total quantity for each specific product that is let's say in this case we get the price 400 now we need to get the quantity so we need to multiply the quantity with the product price so we can put this multiplication sign which is a static sign and then we can say integer dot value of model dot get quantity that's it now put semicolon here and in the next line we need to add these whole I mean now we need to let's say in this case we have two products so let's say we have 10 products so as you know that by using the Firebase Recycler Adapter we are getting each product one by one so it will get the price for that uh, specific type product and we need to now add this product in our variable which is the overall total price so yeah let's do it overall total price add the one type product T price in it now what's next once we get this price it is in the integer type and now we are going to send the user I mean a user will click on this next button okay so when you click on this button so here we can simply say in the on create method that is next process button dot set on click listener listener and here You will send the user to the activity which is confirm final order activity dot class make sure to put semicolon here here we can simply say intent dot put extra and we will send this price to the confirm final order activity so the key value for it will be total price comma as you know that uh, the value is stored in integer type variable so we need to convert it to string so you can simply say string dot value of and the variable name is overall total price that's it we can now simply say 
start activity for the intent we need to finish it also we need to display it here at the top I mean the total price so when a user click on next process button then we will display it here so this text view name is total amount txt total amount dot set text and all we gonna need is to copy paste this here and uh, we need to add a concatenation sign and here we can say to total price equals to and this will display that price also if you want you can add this dollar sign here we need to receive the total price now on the confirm final order activity so here I'm going to create a string type variable just to get that so we can simply say total amount equals to null and in the on create we can say total amount equals to get intent dot get string extra here we need to pass this name which is total price so let's copy it and we can simply pass that here and put semicolon here so yeah that's it now let's run the app so the app is running now successfully let's go to the cart activity and here you can see uh, these are our products if I click on this next button here you can see twelve thirty dollars okay and also we are now on the uh, this final order activity uh, activity I mean here here we can also display that I mean we need to check this uh, total amount so we can also display the total amount on our toast message here so we can simply pass that here we can say total price equals to and then we can display this total amount to the user so total amount which is dollar and yeah let's run it again so let's go to the cart activity now let's first calculate it I mean just to confirm that is the calculation is performed successfully or not by our app okay so if you here you can see cool to, uh, summer t-shirt the price for one product is five and 5 multiply 6 that is the quantity number 6 okay so 5 6 30 and 400 multiply 3 1200 so 1230 so let's click on next and here you can see 1230 dollars here also you can see total price which is 1230 so yeah it is working fine I mean this is incredible let's add uh, more products I mean so that we can see if uh, it is working or not for all so I'm going to add this uh, MacBook Pro to the cart okay one product which is at hundred dollars so let's click on add or add to cart and now I'm going here okay and now if I click on next then here you can see two thousand thirty dollars two thousand thirty dollars in the toast message so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video we will continue from here and we will uh, allow the user for the I mean for the final step which is the confirm order so yeah, that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram account by this username you can search and take care of yourself and bye for now